I'm excited to welcome you to the absolute best video on JavaScript comments you'll find anywhere on YouTube. In this video, I cover everything you need to know in detail and use interactive animations, beautiful illustrations, and professional editing to ensure you remain engaged in order to maximize your learning. So let's jump in. So what are comments? Comments are a non-executable note in a JavaScript file. Comments in a JavaScript file are used for three things. The first are notes to self, which are to-do placeholders useful for reminders on future actions. For example, there might be a note in our code, add error handling. This is something we'd implement later and is there to remind us to add this functionality. The next type of comment are documentation. These are explanatory notes useful for when revisiting your own code or for others looking at it. An example of a documentation comment on a piece of code would look something like this. This piece of code verifies user login by checking for a valid token. Don't worry at all about what that means, but this comment is explaining what our block of code is doing. The third type of comment is used for structuring. This clearly defines sections of code, making it easier to navigate and understand. You can kind of think of them like headings in a Google Doc. Some comments used for structuring would be variables, which would list all the variables below it, or functions, which would list all the functions inside the code below it. Now, there are two types of comments in JavaScript. We'll first look at the single line comment syntax. As the name suggests, this is used when we have a single line comment. And we write it like this. We have two forward slashes followed by the comment text. In this case, this is a comment. Now the good news with comments inside VS Code is that it's the same shortcut as the comments for HTML and CSS. For the Mac shortcut, it's the command key and forward slash. And the Windows shortcut is the control key and forward slash. Now, single line comments are mainly used for structuring like headings and short notes to self. The second type of comment we'll be looking at is multi-line comment syntax. As the name suggests, this is syntax of comments that span multiple lines. It looks like this. We have an opening delimiter, which is a forward slash followed by the asterisk symbol. And we have a closing delimiter, which is an asterisk followed by a forward slash. These delimiters then wrap our comment text. In this case, this is a multi-line comment. Multi-line comments are useful for larger blocks of text and would be commonly used for longer documentation notes. The Mac shortcut for a multi-line comment is Shift Option A, and the Windows shortcut is Shift Alt A. So let's wrap up the theory by building a summary card, Comments. We saw there were two kinds of comments, a single line comment, which looks like this, which is two forward slashes followed by the comment text, and a multi-line comment, which looks like this. It has an opening and closing delimiter and allows you to write multiple lines of text. Now that you've mastered the theory so far in this video, it's important to understand how we can apply it in a real world project. If you haven't been following along in other parts before this, I recommend you download the starter files in the description below and code along with me. This project is part of my JavaScript full course. You can join me for free on YouTube by clicking the video appearing in the top right now. All right, let's now go apply what we learned to our BMI project. We're now gonna go and add comments. All right, I'm back inside our app.js file. The first thing I wanna do with comments is better structure our JavaScript file. So I'm gonna to head to the top here. I'm gonna make some space. On my Mac, I'm gonna hit command forward slash. And in caps, I'm gonna add the text variables. So this is a structuring kind of comment. It lists the variables that are used in my project. Now I'm gonna go add the other sections that will appear a bit later in our JavaScript file. I'll hit command forward slash and I'll type BMI calculation. Below here will be the section of code that actually performs the BMI calculation. I'm then gonna go down and add one more structural comment, which will be output. And the code below here is responsible for structuring the message that will be outputted to the console. Now I'm not gonna use any multi-line comments so far, but just to show you how they work, on my Mac, I'm gonna do the shortcut, Shift Option A. I can now type a multi-line comment, like add the output, I'll hit Enter over here. And you can see I can make it a bit neater by doing this. Now, one thing multi-line comments are also very helpful for is commenting out blocks of code when testing. So for example, let's say I wanted to run my program, but not have this code actually run. To do this, I could comment it out. So I would select it all. One option is to hit Command forward slash, which applies a comment to each line, but a neater option is to do this as a multi-line comment, that is Shift Option A. And you can see this is just a little bit neater 
as it's a single comment spanning multiple lines. All right, I'm gonna uncomment that and I'm gonna remove the multi-line comment here. If you've enjoyed this style of teaching and are looking at mastering JavaScript, you can join me in my JavaScript full course, which is available for free on my channel. The course is designed for complete beginners and covers everything you need to know to code JavaScript at a professional level. In the course, you'll experience the same high quality teaching and build a whole range of real life projects from scratch. Join me today and also make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop with new releases. See you in the JavaScript full course.